One, two, one, two. Rack, rack, rack. One, two, one, two. Rack, rack, rack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kit, and this is my hubby, Yere. Focus on the road. In September 21, I bought a camper van, Willy, and began exploring the local woods, farms, rivers, and waterfalls in the nearby counties, and having a few hair-raising adventures along the way. In this special limited season, my hubby Yere finally joins me on the road as I take him on a whistle-stop tour of my favourite van life locations, and together we discover some exciting new places of our own. Please subscribe to stay abreast of our ongoing van life journey. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Kit and this is my hubby, Yere. Hello. And this is episode four of a special four-part limited season uh, which features Yere joining me on the road for the first time. Uh, in this episode, we'll be visiting Haddon Hall, uh, which is a particularly exciting location for me. Um, first, because I've never been there before. It's the only place we went to that I hadn't previously visited. And also it's a place that I've been dreaming about visiting for my whole life because I'm a huge fan of The Princess Bride and The Princess Bride was largely filmed at Haddon Hall. My people, a month from now, our country will have its 500th anniversary. It's an 11th century medieval hall, um, which has then had further additions made during, I think, the Tudor era. Um, and then again in the 1920s, I think, some work was mm -hmm. done there. Yeah. Um, but it's an exquisitely beautiful place, and I was very happy, very excited to visit it. So, first we had to get through the traffic, didn't we? Mm -hmm, yeah, the traffic on the way to the location was quite something. Apparently, it's, it was the beginning of bank holiday weekend, so of course there was lots of traffic. I can show you the world shining, shimmering, splendid. Lovely. Lovely. Honestly. Honestly. There's a wasp chasing me to be sure, to be sure. So it is, it's a wasp to be sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if this that's an homage of taking the piss out. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> and it's, it's the wrong part of Ireland as well. Lovely sunny weather. You jinxed us, you bastard. You jinxed us. Touch wood. So many birds on the building. I'm very confused about which lane I'm supposed to be in. Yeah, that doesn't really explain anything. No, it's very confusing. If I remember correctly, Hakuna Matata is uh, Swahili and mm -hmm. means no problems. Exactly. Hakuna Matata, hubby. Hakuna Matata. Ah! <laughs> oh, perfect timing. Are you double checking my uh, yes. navigation now? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> All it took was one little lane error, and now you don't trust me. It's not about trust, it just. It's about assu assuming incompetence. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as we've got that settled. It's <laughs> touch. And we've hit traffic again. Yeah. What a thing. Well, it is bank holiday. Of course. We yes, can. of course. Of course. 
uh, eventually we made it to Haddon Hall where we had to pay separately for parking and I very nearly had a tantrum didn't mm -hmm. I yes. because we had paid 50 pounds or something yes. for the two of us to visit Haddon Hall. Yes, something like this. Um, so I nearly had a tantrum but I didn't I controlled myself and they were actually very nice um, so we parked up and then had a short walk to the castle and it was immediately recognizable as the location for the Princess Bride. I was very excited. I feel like I've been here before. So we saw the courtyard, there was a tour group there, mm -hmm. um, but we didn't join in with them, we sort of hung back. Um, although I was pleased to overhear um, from the tour group that every single penny of the admission fee is used for the restoration and preservation of the building, and I 100% mm -hmm. support that. Uh, although I always complain about spending money on anything, I really don't actually object to spending money on something like that. It's a worthwhile cause. I passionately mm -hmm. believe in preserving our history, and we've got so many beautiful historical buildings in this country, they all need to be looked after, um, and so it's fair to charge an admission fee uh, to maintain and upkeep the building. So, um, once we explored the courtyard, we went in through the main entrance and emerged into the hall, the mm. Grand Hall, which was exactly as I remembered it from many different things. And then we went up some stairs. Yes. Where did we go to when we went up some stairs? Well, there were just some rooms with lots of tapestries, rooms with some paintings, and then there were those little nooks where you could look out outside the window and into the garden area and the walls. And Some of the windows were open as well, which was a real relief because it was a bit sticky. Mm -hmm. I'm all right. Are you confused about the geography already? Yes. Uh, so am I. It was it was like a maze. Let's just say it was like a maze. And there were lots of, you turned around lots of corners and there were lots of corridors in different directions. Mm -hmm. It was very easy to get turned around in Haddon Hall. <laughs> We 
also explored some of the surrounding rooms around the kitchen area as well. our way outside mm -hmm. and it was beautiful oh yeah really beautiful lots of lots of pretty flowers some roses and some purple flowers that i didn't recognize what they were but they were really beautiful and then of course can't beat that view and we were so lucky as well we were really blessed with the weather if you consider that on the day that we booked it we'd assumed that it would be raining mm -hmm. that day mm -hmm. but it was a gorgeous sunny day and the, the reveal as you looked over the wall from mm -hmm. the garden onto the Derbyshire countryside with the river meandering through it and then a hobbit bridge over the river it was absolutely gorgeous. <music> a bit of time wandering around the gardens and um, we did a circuit of the upper section of the gardens Spent some time in what I call the kissing corner. Mm -hmm. Had a little kiss with the bridge in the background. It was very romantic. Then we then we did a circuit of the upper gardens, and then we went down the steps to the lower gardens, yeah. um, and got quite close to the river, didn't we? Mm. Yeah, as close as you could get. And I had a rest. And you did some more sketching at that mm. point, didn't you? Yeah. Really. And then we walked very slowly back up the stairs. It seemed that there were a lot more stairs going up than there were coming down. I certainly took my time. Um, and then we went to the chapel. And I think we were both a little bit surprised and disappointed that it wasn't the same as the chapel we'd seen in The Princess Bride, mm -hmm. yeah. with the impressive clergyman played by Peter Cook. Marriage! Oh, 
since so much of the Princess Bride had been filmed in, at and around Haddon Hall, I think it just we just assumed that the chapel at Haddon Hall would be the chapel that they used in the film, but it wasn't. But the existing chapel at Haddon Hall is a small, intimate, slight, a slightly shabby affair. Mm-hmm. It has some very interesting artwork on mm-hmm. the walls. Um, it has some interesting stained glass windows. The altar, I'd say, is quite plain and unremarkable. Mm-hmm. Um, the most interesting thing there was the... the um, what's that thing called where there's a statue of a person over where their bones are laid? I didn't know the exact term. Let's just call it a statue. This, yes, it's a statue. It's a, it's a lying down statue of a boy on top of the sarcophagus where I assume his bones are. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, was it a boy or some very young woman? Oh, I don't know. I thought it was a boy. I'm not sure. I, I will find out. I will find out who mm. the statue was of. because it was. But it was definitely the centrepiece of the chapel. There wasn't a lot else in the mm. chapel to look at, no. really, was there? Um, there was a sign warning about bat shit, uh, which I didn't read until after I'd sat in the bat shit. Um, yeah, that was, that was the chapel. Uh, it was quite a simple, a, very, a modest chapel. Mm-hmm. But that, it was also quite remarkable. Uh, it was a very old chapel, wasn't it? Like yeah. almost 400 years old. Yes, there was, yeah, there was a carving on the ceiling, wasn't mm-hmm. there? Yeah. Um, so it was two years, two years from its 400th anniversary. 1624. 1624. Um, and after the chapel, we went into some little sort of display rooms, museum-like mm-hmm. rooms with with very minimal displays yeah. there were a couple of those and then we went in the museum which was also quite minimal uh, but at that point i was relieved i wouldn't have had the energy to look at thousands of displays mm-hmm. um, but there were some interesting exhibits um, i wouldn't say anything in there made my socks roll up and down particularly it wasn't that exciting uh, but i was fascinated by a death mask of what was her name can't oh, remember. i can't remember I'll put a caption up. Um, But anyway, it was a death mask. I'm fascinated by death masks anyway. It's a weird tradition. Um, But I'm just fascinated by the fact that that's an actual person's dead face that's had plaster of Paris poured on it and a mould made. Anyway, the museum was interesting and just minimal enough um, for after you've had a long day wandering around the building. You don't Mm. want to look at too much stuff. So it was just right. Um, So that was our trip to Haddon Hall. And I can honestly say that I had a thoroughly enjoyable time. It yep. was well worth the £50 admission fee and the £3.80 parking charge. Um, it was a beautiful building. I want to go back there and see it again. We didn't miss anything. No, we didn't. Of course, if you want to see some downside, some areas were private and there was mm. no like public access. And yes. you, But there was one uh, little room where there was a hole in the door and you got a, were able to sort of peep through it yes i managed to get the camera up to a hole in one of the doors and saw a secret area mm. there were a few areas one or two areas that were closed to the public um there was what we thought was another whole courtyard which mm. we didn't have access to but i've seen on the footage now that it wasn't much of a courtyard and i don't think we really missed very much o- overall it was a very successful visit mm-hmm. it was a beautiful day for it and we had a lovely time didn't we? yeah we did Anyway, that was it. That was our trip to Haddon Hall. And this is the end of our four-episode odyssey. Um, Although I may see if I can cobble something together as a special bonus episode, uh, which may perhaps include some taste tests, because at the time I thought it might be a good idea uh, to get you to Mm. do some taste tests. Uh, It never quite worked out according to plan. Um, But if I can cobble something together, there might be a fifth episode. Uh, But otherwise, um, this has been the four episodes episode odyssey of hubby joining me on the road and i hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy it you know what to do please hit the like button hit subscribe share comment do all the good stuff and we'll see you next time see you later see you later